Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome back. Hey, I continue to work on the uh, all motor COX. Um, yeah, I try to get that engine and transmission uh, back together, uh, and uh, try to uh, try to uh, put it into the car. Um, when you change one thing, uh, you have to change the other. Yeah, I have to uh, get a lot of cutting on the transmission bracket because this one, uh, when I do the fabricating, is uh, is uh, it's work for the stock transmission. It's not this sequential, so uh, they hit the D10. And then also a couple uh, reverse uh, lock pin here is on the way. So I have to cut it out to make it fit. Yeah, so a couple washer underneath is going to be uh, the 20 mile brackets. Maybe work perfect then. engine and the transmission is fit in the car nicely yep traction bar is in for both sides uh, at first I thought that I uh, yield a stock oil pump and yield a stock oil pan uh, they hanging down very low but you know what this dry sum is looks so nice in here a lot of clearing underneath of the car uh, I'm thinking about cut open this frame out so make room for the dry sum pump yep if I can make the dry sum work in here this look great and it works awesome. Yeah, I don't like stock pump very much, but uh, if you don't have no choice, you have to use it. Yeah, I try to uh, make the try some oil pump work in this car. Yeah, frame is on the way, so you have to do some cut out and uh, welding for that frame. Yep. Yeah, look like it need to be cut out at least that much to make it work. Yeah, underneath is the the bowl for the traction bar, but uh, I can make another bracket well into it here.
Yeah, the oil pump is in. Yes, have a lot of room to work on too. So I cut the frame out. Now I have to uh, uh, fab for the uh, traction bar. Yeah, so need to uh, hang it, hang it a little bit lower. Yeah, when you chain one thing, you have to chain the other. Yep, maybe make the heel bracket from here down here to hold a traction bar. The same with the other side too. Yep, kind of cut the whole steel plate here all the way down and weld it to the bar. <coughs> Yeah, I uh, weld three inches uh, quarter in thick uh, steel plate underneath of the frame that's been cut in half. And also another plate, uh, try to uh, make the little small frame here connect with the traction bar. It's a big 17 millimeter. millimeter meter bowl here and also a traction bar connect with another plate with another three bowl on uh, bowl on the original frame I think that's strong enough and same thing with the other side too <clears throat> this side I don't have to cut out the frame because I use the original uh, where that two bowl underneath for the stock traction bar <clears throat> Yep, I have the axle in place, spindle, low control arm. Everything looks straight and uh, clean. Yeah, the tie I set up at the height I want. Uh, maybe this a little bit too low for the car, but uh, we can raise it up a little bit up after we have those suspension put in. <clears throat> yeah, go back to uh, the oil pump setup here. Uh, now it's have a lot of room for it to work on too. Yeah. Yeah, it's have enough room for you to put the uh, drill to uh, turn on uh, prime the pump when uh, before you start the car and a lot of room for work on the timing component and the oil pan it's very easy to take out <clears throat> look right
Yep, I got the oil tank is in. Uh, I try to run the oil feed line and return from the pump, but I need couple ninety degree that twelve uh, fitting. I'm out of that. Uh, today is Saturday. Store is closed, so I have to wait until Monday. Yep, everything is come out is great. You know, I uh, did a lot of work. So uh, next week we're gonna be uh, cooling system and the fuel system, and then move on the electronic. Yep, almost there. Yeah, second week work, uh, working on the car. Uh, a lot of progress though, There's a lot of stuff has been done. It's feel great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the video will be end up right here. I guess I can do nothing. Part store is closed. So I have to wait until Monday. Hey, appreciate you, uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.